Okay, welcome back. Um, now I'm going to install the uh, PC software needed for the TomTom Rider 400. So I'll just connect to the internet. See if I can find the um, appropriate software. That's probably something like TomTom get started. My TomTom Swedish homepage as I'm in Sweden right now. Let's go. I have to know which uh, software I need, the TomTom Home or the TomTom MyDrive Connect. So I just check the first numbers of the um, serial number and it's MyDrive Connect I have to use. I download that one. And there it is, and let's start it up. to accept the license. This is the first time I do this, so uh, I don't know what it does and how it's going to work out. Connect your uh, unit to the PC. I'll just take out the unit and the micro USB cable, which I received. Connect it to the PC. Need a USB. Like that. And then I presume here on the back side is the micro USB connector. And there is connection. Starting up. There's a little setting icon down here. I'll look at that later. Just see if we get connection. Tell me where I am. Nothing else. Let's see what this button does. Ah, connection status. Now it says connected. Since I registered on the TomTom um, -tom unit itself, I should be able to use a uh, login already. Email address, login, and this one will be connected to the unit now. This unit will to be connected to the account. I can link it together, and they're linking now, and the update is complete. Press OK on the screen, and we're connected. Can go back. It says I have one update. If I click on the update, it says I have no unit connected to my account, which was what I probably just did. So let's do it again. And it says connected link. And it's updating again. 
do not disconnect it says okay done continue very straightforward very easy to follow just follow the steps on the screen nothing big it seems that they have technical issues at the site right now so um, that's interesting too many people received the unit today maybe I don't know so I'll uh, give it a try a bit later then thank you for watching Okay, back again. It seems that their site is up and running again. It says I have one update. Have a look at the update. It says it's a map update. Just click it. It says I have a lifetime update system. I have the speed cameras. Okay. Uh, update. doing right now. If it's updating or not. It doesn't give you much info right now. A bit strange. I press it again, open the screen. doesn't seem to change. The other one it says one update. We close that. What? Oh, wrong one. Do it again. Update one megabyte. But then it doesn't seem to want to do more. Newest map. I don't want to update more maps than I have, but it says it's updated. So, um, I think it's fair enough. We we'll just wait for the unit to finish. And then I'll make another video when I have the kit installed on the bike and do a little ride test and see how it behaves. It takes actually quite some time. If it's only one megabyte, it should be very quick, but um, maybe there's something else that's updating. I don't know yet. It says it's installing update there on the unit. Hundred percent. And the update is complete. We press OK. And uh, didn't know what it, what it updated. Zoom was quite quick. I can also show you the rotation of the screen. It will then change to horizontal. And you see a little bit more of the streets ahead than if you have it widescreen. But I think we quite, almost all of us are quite used to the widescreen mode now, so it might be tricky to get used to the portrait one. Okay, thank you. That's all for now. Thank you and goodbye.